Okay, so now we need our own unique and special schedule of laws in every sector, occupying the field with our laws and jurisdiction. And that's missing. And when you make those laws, they're constructed to implement the inherent rights and title, treaties and treaty rights in every sector. And we'll come to the economic relations next. But judicial relations then will include all our own judicial institutions and processes of governing of our traditional contemporary justice system. Again, under our inherent legal system, jurisdiction and laws. That includes our tribunals, our courts, if we want to go there. But we have to be prepared to identify how those institutions are implemented right at the community level and between the governments of our nations by tribal council and by nations under our own laws, jurisdiction, and governments. Your inherent legal system does not stop at the edge of the border of your reserve by band or community. Your inherent legal system is a national power of governing that applies to your nation and your governments collectively throughout your traditional ancestral territory, throughout your treaty territory. Yet, we're caught up in the colonial system, believing that our jurisdiction laws only apply on reserves in most cases, having to be authorized and approved by the federal government and the Crown. When we make our laws implementing our political relations, treaty relations, judicial relations, they're ratified by your membership, giving them legal effect for implementation and enforcement. The Crown has no jurisdiction to accept or reject those laws. What you do is you forward them to the Crown notifying them that you're occupying the field under your own inherent legal system, jurisdiction, and laws, and send them a copy of your act if you want. But they have no jurisdiction whatsoever to be accepting or rejecting your laws that are your inherent legal, made under your inherent legal system and your governing system. So then, of course, comes the fiscal relations and financing that's needed for our justice system. And people ask me about a tribal police force. Well, I said I'm a former policeman for five and a half years. You need to know where you can apply the laws if you're going to be an effective policeman. So when I talk about our tribal police force, I'm talking about the national powers of the tribal police force that has similar power nationally to that of the RCMP powers for governing the, the jurisdiction and laws of the RCMP. Because our people have the portability of their sovereignty, their inherent rights and title, treaties and treaty rights by community regionally, nationally, and internationally. Right now, all the forces of the institutions are limiting or terminating those rights of our people and our nation when they're portable. So where is our national powers of applying our inherent legal system as it applies to our tribal police force and other, any other sector that we want to implement. We have to wake up very fast because we can't be limiting ourselves in our capacity for governing 
under our inherent sovereignty and our governments of our nations.